If you took a trip to Norway and found yourself on one of their well-kept pristine roads, you would notice something. There are lots and lots of Teslas. Of the 2.8 million passenger cars registered in Norway, nearly 3% are Teslas, one for every 55 adults living in the country. It's not just Teslas, but electric cars in general. With over 20% of all cars on the road and 80% of new cars sold in Norway being electric. With its vast charging network and robust electrical grid, how did Norway leverage their petroleum exporting economy to become the electric car capital of the world? And if you want to see more content on energy, history and our world, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be alerted to future uploads. In Norway, the standard of living is generally considered pretty good. Norway consistently ranks within the top three according to the United Nations Human Development Index. Its population has a high life expectancy, access to a heavily subsidized healthcare system, and an average yearly income of nearly $56,000, well above the OECD average. But things were not always this way in Norway. With just 3% of total land being arable, crops were traditionally limited to certain grains, whilst the harvesting of fish was key to one's diet around the coastline. In the 1840s, industrialization took hold in Norway, starting with textiles and rapidly developing into shipbuilding, mining and food processing industries, and in doing so, raising national GDP growth with it. But in the 1970s, the advent of Norway's petroleum industry began the country's golden era. With high economic growth and low unemployment, Norway's economy was very different to the stagflationary economies of most developed countries at the time. The government has managed to benefit from these resources through taxing the industry, charging for exploration and production licenses, and through its state-owned energy company, Equinor. Tapping into this market saw the Norwegian economy grow by over 3% per year from 1973 to 2003 and has helped Norway become the 13th largest economy in Europe. Today, oil and gas still contributes to 20% of the country's economy, with these commodities accounting for 73% of the country's total exports. This meant that oil has produced lots of cash for Norway. But many countries have made money from oil, yet often there are few tangible benefits to be seen for society. This paradox exists for many resource-rich countries that have failed to transform their wealth into better outcomes for their population. That's why, on the backdrop of this wealth, whilst politics can change, as a whole, leadership in Norway has recognised that these profits made from their petroleum industry must benefit their society. They also recognise that whilst many natural resources still exist in the country, this income won't last forever. That's why in 1990, Norway launched the Government Pension Fund of Norway to invest Norway's surplus oil revenues for future generations. Made up of equity, real estate and fixed income investments, this sovereign wealth fund has over $1.1 trillion worth of assets at $250,000 per Norwegian citizen. Not only does this fund provide for future generations, but it partially shields the government from exposure to the massive boom and bust cycles of oil. This works as the government is allowed to spend a maximum of 3% of the total fund each year, which would represent a large part of the government's total budget and therefore reducing their reliance on oil-related funds. This means that there's money to run Norway's welfare system and capital for investment into infrastructure projects such as those needed for electric vehicles. In many ways, Norway's landscape is not meant for electric cars. Vast, cold, with many areas of nothingness have generally not boded well for electric car users. But since 2011, Government investment into infrastructure like electric charging points has made using EVs a practical reality in Norway. 
Currently, there are over 25,000 chargers around the country, approximately one for every 20 electric cars, and charging stations on every main road in the country. This means that you're never too far from a charger in Norway. Norway's unique power grid also suits the high uptake of electric vehicles. Norway is well known for its mountainous plateaus, steep valleys, large lakes and numerous rivers. Not only does this make a great location for scenic road trips, but is also perfect for producing hydroelectric power. That's why in 1891, Norway built its first hydropower plant in the northern town of Hammerfest, which allowed it to become the first town in Norway to have lighting on its streets run by electricity. Now, hydropower accounts for 90% of the nation's electricity production, with the remainder coming from thermal and wind power. Whilst power-intensive industries like manufacturing still require fossil fuels like oil and natural gas, electricity production is still primarily renewable. This unique position means that households in Norway can access power needed at all times of the day by harnessing energy from the natural environment. As a result, Energy prices to charge your car in Norway are around 20% lower than the European average at just less than 20 cents per kilowatt hour in 2022. Although rapid charges in certain parts of the country can be as high as 72 cents per kilowatt hour. The Norwegian government has set the goal that by 2025 all new cars sold in the country should be electric or hydrogen powered. With this came a large policy push some of which go back to the 1990s to incentivize EVs whilst penalizing the use of internal combustion engine cars. Whilst EVs were exempt from VAT and purchase tax on new cars, for ICE cars these taxes are paid depending on the emissions each car releases. EV owners also benefited from road tax exemptions, free access to toll roads and ferries, free municipal parking and access to bus lanes and so on but many of these incentives have now been reduced or even removed as the proportion of electric vehicles on the road increases. Regulations also state that electric vehicle supply equipment must be provided in new buildings and parking lots, whilst grants are given for electric charger installations at home. The movement towards electric vehicle adoption in Norway has been 30 years in the making with recent developments in electric car technology helping to make this a practical reality. But the leveraging of Norway's petroleum assets to fund and natural resources to generate electricity to power this EV network is a unique situation, but an important case study for nations who hope to replicate this. Thank you for watching Olive Stripe Productions. If you enjoyed this video and want to see future videos on a wide range of exciting topics covering energy, history and our world, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be notified of future videos.